वेलकम मई डियर लर्नर्स फॉर दिस न्यू कोर्स मेशीन डिजाइन इन अर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हेव बिगैन डिस्कशन ऑन द न्यू कोर्स कॉल्ड मेशीन डिजाइन लेट एस क्विकली मूव अहेड एंड जंप इन टू द टॉपिक्स ऑफ मेशीन डिजाइन इन टूडेज लेक्चर बिफोर टेकिंग थियरीज ऑफ फेल्यूर आई एम इंटरेस्टेड टू अड्रेस हाउ टू ट्रिमेंट स्ट्रेसेस इन ऑब्लिक प्लेन्स विच यू पीपल हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मेटीरियल्स हाउ टू मेजर स्ट्रेसेस इन ऑब्लिक प्लेन्स एंड वॉट इज प्रिंसिपाल स्ट्रेस principal plane etc we can determine stresses in principal planes or stresses in oblique planes or inclined planes using analytical method or by graphical approach the graphical approach to find stresses in oblique sections is by mohr's circle and also we have analytical approach in today's lecture let us solve few problems on stresses in oblique planes using analytical approach that is by using formula method and also discuss what is the meaning of principal stress and principal planes because in this course on machine design this is the only point where we are addressing stresses in oblique sections or oblique planes or inclined planes nowhere in future will be addressing stresses in inclined planes so therefore for the sake of completeness i am taking this topic that is principal stresses now what is the meaning of principal stress the planes on which only normal stress acts and there is no shear stress is termed as principal plane these normal stresses acting on principal planes are termed as principal stresses in order to define principal stress first one should define what is principal plane principal plane is a plane on which only normal stress acts with zero shear stress and these normal stresses acting on principal planes are termed as principal stresses so therefore first define what is principal plane and then define what is principal stress as you all know the in graphical approach we can go with mohr's circle to determine principal stresses and principal planes whereas in analytical method we should use formulas which you people already derived in mechanics of materials which has been tabulated in our design data and book written by k mahadevan and k balavira reddy in fourth edition so making use of this data handbook let us solve to simple problems on principal stresses in today's lecture you know to solve problems on principal stresses you people should refer page number 5 of our data handbook referring to figure 1.4a so to solve problems on principal planes you should refer design data handbook from design data handbook you should refer page number 5 and figure number 1.4a kindly make a note of it and you should use equations 1.a onwards 1.8a onwards now coming for sign conventions you should compare to figure 1.4a if the given question matches with figure 1.4a of page number 5 of our data handbook then all the given data are taken as positive if anything is opposite to the figure 1.4 a of our data handbook then it should be taken as negative kindly make a note of it so now let us quickly solve problem number 1 if you take problem number 1 and solve compare this sketch with figure 1.4 a referring to page number 5 of our data handbook compare this sketch with figure 1.4 a now if i compare this figure with 1.4 a and move ahead for solution of problem number 1 let me list out the data given comparing the given sketch comparing the given sketch with figure 1.4a page number 5 of design data handbook design data handbook sigma x is plus 40 mega pascals sigma y is minus 30 mega pascals and coming for tau tau xy so if you observe tau xy is causing counter clockwise rotation along x plane along x direction is causing counter clockwise rotation so therefore it is positive hence it is plus 
mega pascals and theta is given with respect to vertical in our data handbook also theta is measured with respect to vertical so therefore take phi as 45 degrees and coming for tau theta in our data handbook tau theta is moving upward whereas here it is moving downward so therefore tau theta should be negative according to this convention because according to our figure 1.4a page number 5 the tangential stress on the plane mn should move upwards the formula what he is given for the upward movement of tangential force tau theta which means that it is causing counter clockwise rotation if it is moves downward it causes clockwise rotation which is taken as negative so with this clear analysis comparing the sketch with figure 1.4 a now we can solve the problem now what he has asked a point in a structural member subjected to plane stress is shown in figure 1 determine the following normal and tangential stress on the plane mn inclined at an angle of 45 degree principal stresses and their direction maximum shear stress and their direction now to solve this problem first go for page number 5 and compare to this sketch 1.4 a and note down the data given now moving ahead for first one that is normal stress that is sigma theta which is given by equation 1.8 a of our data handbook so therefore referring to figure equation 1.8 a of our data handbook we have sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 phi plus tau xy sin 2 phi this is equation 1.8a page number 5 of our data handbook now if i substitute and solve the values i'll get sigma x is 40 sigma y is minus 30 divided by 2 plus sigma x is 40 sigma y is minus 30 minus of minus will become plus 30 by 2 into cos of 2 into 45 that is cos 90 plus tau xy tau xy is 25 into sin 90 so if i solve i'll get normal stress on plane mn as 30 mega pascals so this is the normal stress on plane mn that is sigma theta now if i go for tangential stress tau theta tangential stress on plane mn is given by since tangential stress is acting downward and whereas it is given upward in our figure 1.4a i should take it as negative so therefore minus of we have sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 phi minus tau xy cos 2 phi minus tau xy cos 2 phi so this is equation 1.8 b this is equation 1.8 b So if I substitute the values and solve, I'll get tangential stress answer as minus of sigma x is 40 minus sigma y will become plus 30 by 2 into sine 2 phi. That is sine 90 minus tau x y is 25 into cos of 90. So tangential. stress tau theta is equal to minus 35 mpa negative sign indicates clockwise rotation positive sign indicates counter clockwise rotation kindly make a note of it it is minus 35 mpa next moving ahead for the second one that is principal stresses and their direction second one is principal stress so sigma max that is sigma 1 maximum principal stress is given by sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus 
plus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square under the root. So this is equation 1.8 c equation 1.8 c page number 5. So if I substitute the values and solve I will get the answer as sigma x is 40 sigma y is minus 30 by 2 plus root of sigma x is 40 minus of minus is plus 30 by 2 whole square plus tau x y square tau x y is 25 square so maximum principal stress is 48.011 mega pascal next minimum principal stress sigma 2 is given by sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square this is equation 1.8 d so if i solve just make plus as minus at the center we will get the answer as minus 38 minus 38.011 mega pascals for normal stresses positive means tensile negative means compression next coming for directions coming for directions we have tan 251 is equal to 2 tau xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y this is equation 1.8 e so according to which i will get the value of 51 as 1 by 2 into tan inverse of 1 by 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 into tan inverse of 2 into 25 divided by sigma x is 40 minus of minus is plus 30 so we'll get the answer as 17 point 77 degrees so this is the magnitude of maximum principal stress and its direction is 17.77 degree and direction of minimum principal stress is given by phi 2 is equal to phi 1 plus 90 degree hence add 90 to this you will get it as 107.77 degrees done move for third one third question is find the maximum shear stress and its direction so tau max is given by plus or minus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square so if i substitute and solve i'll get the answer as root of sigma x is 40 minus of minus is plus 30 by 2 whole square plus tau x y is 25 square so I will get the answer as plus or minus 43.012 mega pascals 012 mega pascals now its direction is given by equation 1.8 g else directly we can use that is phi s1 is equal to phi 1 plus 45 degree phi s2 phi s2 is equal to phi 1 plus 135 degree this is given in equation 1.88 g so if i use that 17.77 plus 45 which is equal to 62.77 degree and 
135 is equal to 152.77 degree 152.77 degrees so this is the solution for problem number one where in which we have calculated normal and tangential stresses in plane mn maximum principal stress its direction minimum principal stress its direction maximum and minimum shear stresses and their directions let me pause this video for a while so that you people can copy it down later we'll solve problem number two next moving ahead to solve problem number Two, which states that the state of stress in a two-dimensionally stressed body is shown in figure 2. Determine principal stresses and their direction, maximum shear stress and their planes. So now, as I said, compare the given question with the sketch present in figure 1.4a, page number 5 of our design data and book written by K. Mahadevan and K. Balaviri Reddy, 4th edition. If I compare to this sketch and note on the data, sigma x, is opposite to what is given so therefore it is compressive which means negative so therefore sigma x is minus 120 mega pascal and sigma y is also opposite which means compressive that is minus 80 mega pascals and tau xy is causing clockwise rotation on x phase so therefore it is negative minus 60 minus 60 mp so if you carefully observe the question what is given and compare this with figure 1.4e of page number 5 of our data handbook all the directions of these stresses are opposite to the one which is present in our design data handbook therefore we should take negative for all the stress values now let us calculate one by one what he has asked moving ahead first one is to find magnitude and direction of principal stresses Coming for magnitude and direction of principal stresses, moving ahead for maximum principal stress sigma 1 which is given by sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square. This is equation number 1.8c of our design data handbook. So substitute all the values and calculate you will get minus 120 minus 80 by 2 plus root of minus 120 plus 80 by 2 whole square minus of minus will become plus plus minus 60 whole square so if you solve you will get sigma 1 as minus 120 minus 80 by 2 plus root of minus 120 plus 80 by 2 whole square plus 60 square which is turning out to be minus 36.75 MPA which is compressive maximum principal stress is compressive in nature similarly if I find minimum principal stress sigma 2 which is given by sigma x plus sigma y by 2 minus root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square this is equation number 1.8 d of our data handbook now substitute the values and solve we will get sigma 2 sigma 2 will become just make this as minus so if I do that change this sign as minus I'll get the answer as minus 163.25 minus 163.25 mega Pascal which is compressive you can see that magnitudally minimum principal stress has the higher value magnitudely speaking minimum principal stress has higher value so therefore when you have compressive stresses acting 
on a machine element always magnitudinally minimum principal stress will have higher value now you know to find the directions we have tan 2 phi 1 is equal to 2 tau xy divided by sigma x minus sigma y this is equation 1.8 e this is equation 1.8 e so if i substitute and solve i'll get phi 1 as 1 by 2 times tan inverse of 2 into minus 60 divided by minus 120 plus 80 so therefore i will get this is equation 1.80 i have written so phi 1 will become 1 by 2 into tan inverse of 2 into minus 60 divided by minus 120 plus 80 which is turning out to be 35.78 degrees 35.78 degrees phi 2 is equal to phi 1 plus 90 degree hence phi 2 will become plus 90 that is 125.78 degree 125.78 degrees so this is the magnitude of maximum and minimum principal stresses and their directions Moving ahead for second one, that is maximum shear stress and their planes. Coming for maximum shear stress, tau max is equal to root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square. This is nothing but equation 1.8 f. So if I substitute all the values and solve I will get the answer as square root of minus 120 plus 80 by 2 whole square plus minus 60 whole square which is equal to plus 63.25 mp take it as plus or minus plus or minus maximum is plus 63 minimum is minus 63 now its direction that is phi s1 is equal to phi 1 plus 45 degree phi s2 is phi 1 plus 135 degree so therefore i will get the answer as 35.78 plus 45 that is 80.78 degrees 35.78 plus 135 that is 170.78 degrees so this is the complete solution for problem number 2 this completes our discussion on principal stresses and stresses in oblique planes or stresses in inclined planes in our next lecture i will take up theories of failure that's all from this lecture thank you all